What's going on guys? J Genesis here. So today I'm gonna review Zelda bitches. That's right, man. Uh shout outs to the Madre, bro. She <laughs> she gave me the hookup. Fucking Zelda Breath of Wild, dude. I'm seven years too late, but you know what, bro? I still made it to the party. Um <laughs> It's a pretty kick-ass game, dude. I mean, it's it's nothing like Zelda. I think it's criminal they even call it that. But, I mean, it's a great open-world adventure. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of gives a little teaser about everything. Uh, defend the legend. <laughs> D defende a la lenda. La linda. Or leenda. Answer the call. Responde a la mundo. That's great, man. I mean, really, dude. Rest in peace, America. Holy shit, bro. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, dude, I caught this off of Amazon for 33 bucks. So I paid roughly half of what a new copy is. I don't see the point of buying a new copy, you know. Always go for used if you can, dude. Because let me tell you something, bro. These people don't deserve your support. In my opinion, they're a bunch of criminals. Uh, Nintendo is no longer part of the cool kids club. You know, as Jim Carrey said about Hollywood, they're a bunch of assholes, dude. I mean, they sued that kid for like, what was it, a million bucks? Because he had an emulator site of Nintendo games? Like, who the fuck does that, bro? Um, so I have to admit, like, in the back of my mind, that always bothers me. Um, when I play Nintendo stuff, it's like, why am I even engaging with this? Because they're a terrible company, bro. I mean, I'm just keeping it a fucking buck with you guys. They're fucking criminals. And, um, you know, it's just a shame that so many stupid, retarded fanboys can't see that. Just how terrible of a company they are, bro. And I know I should have... <laughs> I should have put a trigger warning before this video, but I mean, it just gets me fired up, bro. It, it really does. And I'm not just saying this as a fucking Sega fan because you guys know me. Um, I'm sure Sega would suck just as bad if they still made consoles. I'm sure they would. Um, I'm not defending them or any other console, but God, it was so different back in the nineties, but like you had to have been there. It was so different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Zoomers, you missed out, bro. But, you know, enjoy your pretty graphics and your hooty hoo and your la dee las and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, your little parachute things. Um, you know, like like I said, dude, it's a good game. I mean, I don't know what you guys want me to say, really. Um, I got my Witcher chilling in here right now. And they did, I mean, like, look at that art, dude. I mean, that's next level good. Whoever did the artwork for this deserves a raise, you know, and I'm sure Nintendo will not give them one because <laughs> they suck. But anyways, um, <laughs> I know I didn't talk much about the game. I mean, it's cool, bro. I like the mechanics. I like how, you know, Link has his own little switch. Like, that's cute. You know what I mean? It's it's a cute little gimmick, you know, his little Nintendo switch that gives him fucking abilities or whatever. And, um, the dungeons, though, I don't know, they, they do not feel like dungeons. Uh, that's something that I wanted to mention, too, is, like, this game is very occultic, and I find it very strange. Um, the fact that you have to, like, pray to a shrine, you know, it's like, dude, what the hell is this, bro? I didn't sign up for this cult, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... And you get these spirit orbs. It's it's very occultic, bro. Um, and I'm not trying to go tinfoil hat on you guys. I'm just spitting facts here, dude. Um, <clears throat> gamers should not be forced to pray to a shrine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, collecting spirit orbs is just weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just, this is not the Zelda that I grew up with. Um, and I was going to say, too, I, I don't know if I said it. Sorry, guys, I'm half asleep. <laughs> I should have waited for my tea to cool down because probably would have gave me a boost. But the fucking dungeons, they're just, they're very strange. Um, 
It's it's almost like it reminds me of being in the mall. I don't know why, dude. I don't know if it's just the color scheme, but it reminds me of fucking Deerbrook Mall in fucking Humble, Texas. Um, and it's just... <laughs> I don't know, bro. Um, like I said, I like the cute little gimmick they threw in there, but the dungeons, to me, it, it's probably the weakest point um, in the newer series, you know, both this one and the, the one that came after it. Because um, from what I've seen, it looks just like Breath of the Wild. It was a towers or whatever, fucking... Um, I don't know, dude. Like, it's just... Um, I can't help but think that, like, Miyamoto paid some other company off. Like, what he did with um, Mario Brothers 2, if you know the story behind that, Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, it was originally going to be a different game, but <laughs> Miyamoto actually paid that company off, and he just turned it into a Mario game, and he added Mario characters. Uh, pretty fucking remarkable there, Miyamoto. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, insert clever thing here, Miyamoto is, uh, I don't know, his creativity is Remoto. <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible. Why are you laughing at your own stupid j uh, jokes, Jared? Unsubscribe, sir. But, um, anyways, guys, I'm just trying to make it entertaining for y'all. I, again, I should have waited for my tea to cool down. I'm in zombie mode right now, but fuck it. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this shit, so it really doesn't matter, but... <laughs> Plus, I know you guys find it entertaining when I'm kind of in zombie mode, which is probably 90% of the time, <laughs> if we're being quite frank with each other, but... <clears throat> I am trying to make positive changes in my life, guys. Um, it's just been rough here lately, bro. The weather's been shit here in Texas. Um, I don't want to get into a whole nother rant, but... Yeah, dude, I um, I put some weight back on, but I will lose it now that it's springtime, especially in the summer, dude, because that heat really melts the fucking fat off you. But uh, speaking of fat, bro, like Link in this game, dude, <laughs> is the opposite, bro. I mean, Christ Almighty, dude, like he honestly looks like a girl to me. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's like. Where's his muscle, dude? I mean, good lord, bro. It looks like... I don't know, dude. A um, little bit girly for my taste. And his fucking little ponytail. Uh, he kind of has girly looking eyes, too. I'm just being brutally honest. And I've noticed that about Zelda for a while now. Uh, about Link, I mean to say. Um, in different Zelda games. Like the fucking... Um, those weird, like, furry ones. Uh, what was the one that came out for, like, GameCube? I think it was. Um, <clears throat> I actually owned it for a little bit, but... Uh, if I can think. Um, Legend of Zelda. The the one where you can, like, turn into a furry. <laughs> you can be a werewolf. Reminds me of that one Sonic game. That weird-ass fucking Sonic game where you can be a furry, too. I think it was called Sonic Unleashed. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Weeaboo Unleashed. Am I right, folks? Um, but, yeah, dude. Uh, you know, I haven't really gotten this, like, that far into the game. So, I know this review probably isn't that fair. But, I'm just, like, I'm just shooting this shit with y'all. Honestly, <laughs> this is just for entertainment purposes. Um, you know, I, I'm sure... I'm sure it's fun all the way through. I mean, I've been having a blast playing it, dude, to be honest with you guys. I just think it's weird as fuck, <laughs> you know? Um, I just, I have minor gripes, but I'm just going to say this, guys. Like, I do not care for Shigeru Miyamoto or whatever his fucking name is. Um, he just, he seems like a shallow fucking guy. And uh, if you guys know the story of Croc, I'll just end on this. Yeah, there was a game called Croc that came out, um, god damn, I want to say close to 30 years ago, maybe. Uh, not quite 30, but maybe like 27 years ago. I'm an old fart. I remember it when it came out. Uh, it came out for the Sega Saturn as well as a PS1. 
And basically, long story short is this. Uh, Miyamoto was actually going to team up with PlayStation. Like, Nintendo was actually going to team up with PlayStation. But um, he bailed on him, bro. So, yeah, they, uh, they were going to make it a Yoshi game. But instead, um, PlayStation, you know, they they weren't able to do that anymore. So they turned it into a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> and they called it Croc, you know, just as a mockery. Like, this shit is a Croc. You know what I mean? And I remember the ads, too, bro. It was hilarious. Um, like, Nintendo Magazine back in the 90s. Oh, they were shitting on Nintendo hard, dude. Like, they had Croc eating Mario with, like, his shoe sticking out of his mouth. It was fucking great, dude. Look it up if you don't believe me, bro. I'm, I'm telling you guys, they fired back really well. But, yeah, dude. Um, you know, it makes me wonder, too. Like, I don't... I mean, Miyamoto's, like, really old now. I bet he wasn't even involved that much with this series, like, with this new shit. I, I bet it was just a whole different team. You know, I'm, I'm sure he has some title, like, you know, overhead, you know, fucking... Uh, president that's what she said um <laughs> but like you know what i'm saying um head council of the zelda cult i don't know dude um yeah but i i really doubt he had anything to do at all with this game hardly <laughs> you know what i mean he just had some new team of people do it who probably have no experience with the zelda series and that's why it came out so fucking weird. Like, it's a goddamn Elden Rings, you know. This is like... Yeah, this is like... Uh, what do you call... Um, it's like Skyrim, you know what I mean? Uh, fucking... Uh, I guess that would be the best comparison. I don't know, dude. Elder Scrolls, maybe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude. Uh, seven years ago... I know Elder Scrolls is probably older than seven years, but <laughs> anyways, guys, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm just ranting here, bro. I really don't have anything to say, so <laughs> that just happens when I fucking rant, bro. Um, I get really random, and I go off on tangents. You guys know how I roll. <laughs> you know how the Genesis rolls, but uh, Genesis does what Nintendo. <laughs> Oh, that was a great fucking commercial, dude. If you guys are old like me, you know what I'm talking about. Um... <laughs> Sega fucking Genesis, man. Uh, they actually had some cool games that were very similar to the Zelda series. Uh, Crusader of Sentry, or Sinti, I believe, was one. Um, there was another one, too. I forget <coughs> I forget the name, but... Um, yeah, Crusader of Sinti. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Very cool game. Uh, reminded me a lot of the Super Nintendo Zelda. And... Um, I don't know why I'm talking about Sega. I guess I just... I wonder what it would be like if Sega still made games, you know? Because <laughs> they don't anymore, dude. They just make stupid Plinko machines. Um, I'm sure that they would probably suck, too. <laughs> I mean, they, they don't give a fuck about us gamers anymore, dude. You know, they didn't even have the fucking heart to make a, you know, a Dreamcast Mini or a Saturn Mini. I don't know why they stopped at fucking Genesis. It's actually pretty dumb. Like, they could have made so much money, and I, I gotta give it to that one fucking idiot, that guy, the RGT85, that fucking corny motherfucker. Um, he did have a point about that. <laughs> like, the guy, he's he's a broken clock. He's, he's right a few times a day. But, um, <clears throat> then again, so am I. <laughs> At least I'm not a cornball with stupid-ass thumbnails. I'm sorry, dude, I had to go there. The guy's a fucking cornball. Um, <laughs> that's... That's really what I got for you guys today, man. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, great game. It's just not a fucking Zelda game, dude. It's it's not. Like, the dungeons are fucking retarded. And um, I, I've heard other people say this, too. Like, it just... There is just something about the older ones, bro. I'm not even talking about GameCube. I think the GameCube one sucked, too, honestly. Um... <clears throat> I don't really know the last good Zelda game, but if I had to wager a guess, bro, it was probably the one for, like, Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, you know, I, I would actually even say, like, Nintendo 64. I, I would, bro. I, I think that was, like, the last legit Zelda game. Um, it just kind of got worse and worse, in my opinion, but... 
Anyways, guys, I'm about out of time, so thanks for watching. Peace.